Okay, um, so Liam and Carl here for PresentationExpressions.com. So, Carl, uh, what are we doing today? Well, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about a problem and a pain that a lot of people have with PowerPoint. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember when I used to do PowerPoint presentations, I used to actually not put music in them because it was so difficult. Exactly, and that is the biggest problem with uh, PowerPoint, is that it's really difficult to embed music into them. You can right. put a certain type of file in, which is what? Well, I say WAV, but other people say WAV. But the rest of the world, <laughs> you know, the west, the, the rest of the Western world and probably the rest mm. of the, you know, non-Western world says WAV. That's right. Okay, WAV files. And you can embed WAV files, but those are, you know, a problem because... Well, they're so large. Right, they're, they're so, so large. large. Exactly. So what files should we try to embed? Well, MP3, because that's what everybody has these days. Exactly. Right? So the easiest format and the smallest format and the best sound. So um, what are we going to do exactly? Do you know? Yeah. Um, well, we're going to show everybody out there a site today where you can download some software, right? Right. So this piece of software um, will help you to embed an MP3 file as a WAV file. So the PowerPoint believes that your MP3 is, in fact, a WAV. Right. Okay, so then that way you can, you know, uh, put whatever you want. Anyway, so the name of the software, oops, that's not right in Korean, that's right in English, that would help. It would. Yep, that always helps. Okay, so um, the name is CDX. That's right, CDX. Or CDX for people who may not be aware of it, but it's actually CDX. Right. Anyway, so once you get to the site, what you want to do is you want to, um, okay, deny, allow, okay, that would be... Wow. Anyway, so what you want to do is you want to go to the download page. Okay, right. very, very simply, download page. And just to let everyone out there know, Carl, um, as you mentioned actually to me the other day, um, because this is SourceForge, there's yes. no worry about this site. Oh, um, yeah, that's right, that's right. We have to think about... Um, you know, uh, viruses and, and malware whatnot. Malware and so on. Right, right, right. But because it's SourceForge, it's pretty safe. So what you want to do, um, once you get to the CDX uh, page here at SourceForge, is you want to just click on the installer here so for whatever version of Windows you're using. Mm -hmm. But this one here covers everything, so uh, 7 Vista 2003, XP, all the standard ones. Click on that. Now, once you get to this page here, though, uh, what you're going to have to do, though, is actually click on the uh, use this direct link, because for uh -huh. whatever reason, uh, the download doesn't work uh, if you're going to wait forever. Okay. So click on that. Help pops your little box here. We'll just run it. Actually, we've already done this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put don't run because we've actually already downloaded this program. So once you finish downloading this program... So there we have it there, right? Okay, yep, that's it right there. Okay, that is CDX. So now what you have to do is get your MP3 file, which uh -huh. is very simple. Um, so I've got mine on my desktop here. I'm so gonna, we just simply drag it across, Carl, right? Just drag it across. That's all you got to do. All right, even Liam could do this. Yeah, that's right, even I could do this, exactly. So, <laughs> so before uh, you do anything, uh, what I had to do actually was, um, the first time I dragged this over, it asked me to create a directory for my output file. Okay. So I need to, I need to you know, designate a location to, uh, mm -hmm. to, to, for the output file. Right. Once you do that, though, you'll get this window that pops up. And what you want to do is you want to click on Output Riff Wave File. This very first uh -huh. one here, Output Riff Wave File. Click on that, hit Encode, and away the races you go. It's that simple. Yep, it's that simple. Oh, fantastic. So it's done. You go search for your uh, search. You know, go into PowerPoint now, of course. Uh -huh. Right. Then how do you embed it then from PowerPoint? I guess you just you can either drag it in, right? Yeah, drag it in or hit the insert button. Or hit the insert button and then just find your file and right, find your file and then uh, in it goes and it'll yeah. play perfectly. So okay. it's that simple, right? That's simple. Fantastic. Well, just wrap it up for us then. Well, um, so just to summarize, um, we basically go to CDX, we download the software, um, and then we just simply drag our MP3 files in there that we want to use, convert them as it were and then just drag them straight into PowerPoint or use the input. input insert. Uh, insert, I'm sorry. Use right. the insert function. Right. Just make sure, though, that whatever <laughs> MP3s you're using, that yeah, you actually own them yourself. Absolutely. Okay, so be careful of uh, any digital rights things. We don't want you know, people pounding on your door in the yeah, middle of the night. We don't want to encourage that. Yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.